how does that then apply to the particular circumstances that we're dealing with here? And uh, to me, it uh, goes without saying that it is unfair to put the mayor in the position of the inquiry proceeding through uh, the campaign period. And this is for two reasons. First, the potential interference with the campaign itself and the mayor's ability to focus on the campaign while the inquiry is running at the same time. Basically, putting her in a position of having to choose between participating in the inquiry, which following the proceedings, instructing counsel, giving evidence, perhaps, rather than focusing on the election campaign. This is, I would submit, unfair to someone who has devoted so many years to the public service. Also concerned about the impact on the election itself, potential impact of holding hearings during the campaign, when, particularly when we're facing the prospect that, that the inquiry may not be able to complete its work and issue a report prior to the election. So what we're left with is the allegations and questions of counsel as interpreted through the eyes of the media. That, we would submit, poses a real danger of magnifying the pre pre prejudicial impact on reputational interests referred to by Justice O'Connor. So what are we proposing? First of all, we've had discussions with the council, sir, and uh, we appreciate uh, the effort to commit more time to this matter uh, and get it launched. That being said, I would point out that we have not yet received any disclosure. In other words, it's critical in the process that we get disclosure. But assuming that can be done, we uh, welcome the opportunity to get the matter done. This is not that big of an inquiry. It's limited to two particular, two particular transactions. One would have thought we could have had it done. Let's let's get at it and get it done. There's all sorts of efficiencies that are set out in the rules that uh, agreed statements of fact, summaries of facts, summaries of documents. We are welcome the opportunity to work with Commission Council and other Council to get it done. However, in the event that it is not completed by the commencement of by September 10th, we would uh, propose and submit to you that it be put over for that six-week period and so it does not interfere with the democratic process in Mississauga. Thank you. Thank you. Any further, Mr. Jones? Uh, I can confess to being a little bit troubled by those submissions. Uh, first of all, to put them in context, the complaint about disclosure is a bit ironic because we don't have the documents from the mayor's office ourselves yet. So we need to see how we can do that. Um, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't overstate the simplicity of the issues here. We have found that there are, there are real complexities. That, uh, there are corporate relationships which we've had to explore. There are money. There are money uh, flows which we've had to follow, and uh, there are a number of witnesses, uh, frankly, on whom we have served subpoenas, summonses, uh, and where we're in the, in the position that we'll have to see whether they turn up on May the 17th and whether we'll have to take enforcement mechanisms. And some of these witnesses uh, are ones uh, who are absolutely central to the inquiry. So I would say that. They have been summoned for the 17th of May with their documents. 
with their documents. Some have taken the position that that's when they will arrive with their documents. Right, and, and others, including, frankly, some public uh, uh, institutions, uh, have been a bit coy about it, which I, I find unhelpful. And so I just say that anything that the mayor could do in the exercise of her moral suasion to to assist in this would be appreciated. And I, I would make that request of, of any party in like circumstances. Um, the other thing, though, at, at the level of principle, the suggestion that somehow the mayor's campaigning needs trump the process that's going on here um, is a, a difficult proposition. Um, if that's going to be seriously advanced, I'd want to hear some evidence about the mayor's historical campaigning needs. Um, but beyond that, if you think of the Gomery situation, which in different capacities some of us lived through, objection was taken to many aspects of what Justice Gomery was doing, to his extrajudicial interviews, his fact-finding process, and so on. But the one position that neither the government nor the Prime Minister took was that he could not hear evidence, he could not release his report out of uh, electoral concerns. And my submission is that uh, those considerations are, are simply irrelevant to what we're doing. If the mayor comes and testifies, she has to be treated with immaculate fairness, and she will be. And you will reinforce to the public and to the media that what you're hearing are facts upon which, or evidence upon which you have formed no conclusion. And uh, the electors of Mississauga will understand that just as the Supreme Court expected in its Dajne decision that jurors would understand that what appears on television should in no way influence them. We have to trust the judgment of electors just the way we trust the judgment of jurors. And so I don't know that Ms. McIntyre is uh, seeking any uh, ruling from you today. I think we should see how this rolls out, uh, but I just wanted to make those statements for the record. Mr. McIntyre, you want to respond to that? I got a sense that you did. Uh, there was just a couple of comments. First of all, uh, with respect to documents from the mayor's office, uh, just uh, those were given to the city some time ago, uh, and uh, we don't have them either. So uh, with respect to, uh, they have to go, I guess, through the chain and come back. I just wanted to comment on that. With respect to uh, our position, we are certainly not saying that the residents of Mississauga shouldn't hear the evidence. We want them to hear the evidence. We want to, them to see the report. It's just the matter of timing on which uh, perhaps uh, Commission Council and I disagree, and perhaps it will become a moot point that we can uh, resolve um, as, as we move along. Uh, with respect to the, the suggestion that the mayor and through her office uh, uh, facilitate the attendance of witnesses, I, I am quite, uh, to use Mr. McDowell's term, <laughs> mystified by that suggestion. So perhaps if he could give me, give me some, uh, some uh, further details on what he has in mind, uh, uh, we'll consider it. Thanks. Okay. If I could just make a...